yeah, I got to tell you, I'm talking to a lot of startups now and there's a good group of unhappy CTOs out there who, you know, are kind of turning into people managers for the largest teams they've ever run. And their joy is actually from doing the hands-on technical stuff. And yeah, so right. I've been talking to a lot of those folks who are, are trying to find a way to get back to their joy and, you know, really being sure. hands-on and then, um, you know, it is it is a different job to be leading a large a large organization right. of people, and that's a big responsibility. And it, it's it's a different role too. Is that advice generalizable at all? Like, can you say to a typical CTO of a a growing or hyper growing company, like, here's how you accomplish that, or here's the highest impact things you can do, or is it always specific to this person in this place? Look, if I see an individual who's in a management role and they're really unhappy, you know, we we all have a certain amount of agency in our own lives, right? And I think we all have one life to live. And it's okay to, you know, take one for the team for a while. If Let's say if you're a co-founder or founder and you're going to be the CTO of your company and that means growing an engineering team and you're, you're going to do that for a while. But at a certain point, you know, if you're feeling unhappy on a day to day basis, uh, you know, look at what you can do and, and see if you can change. And there's a lot of great managers out there. Um, and so finding a really good partnership between an engineering leader and a CTO or and, you know, the top, um, you know, technical ICs in the company, that that's a partnership that that really needs to form. And so. Um, I think, uh, you know, I encourage people to, to find their happiness. That's what nice. I'm trying to do. <laughs> right. Find your happiness. For sure. 